Hello everyone, and welcome to the newest part of the Karin Guide. Today we're going to be going over neutral, and not just neutral, but neutral for beginners, because I know that we kind of went over some neutral like buttons and some stuff that you would want to do in neutral, but we haven't gone over like the beginner's idea of neutral, like the very basics you need to understand just to start off Karin. And Street Fighter V is a very complicated game, and Karin can be a complicated character, so we're not going to go over everything that's optimal, but more so just the basics. Just a little bit to give you an idea of what you need to know whenever you're hopping on online, or even playing locally with friends. So there's going to be some topics that we're going to be going over today, the first one being neutral buttons, the second one being combos that we want to do, the third one being Oki options, and the fourth being anti-airs. So it's not going to be too hard, but it's going to give you an idea of what you want to do. And at the end, I'll make sure to play one online match to kind of exemplify my mindset whenever I'm playing a match online. But I'm going to try to make it a little bit more feasible for like a, a more beginner level. Uh, I'm not going to be using like strict terminology or like going in too deep on the meta, but just giving you a little bit of an idea. Just put the training wheels on and get us rolling just a little bit. To get an idea on how neutral for Karin works at a pretty basic level, and hopefully with enough practice you'll be able to go into more intermediate stuff, which I'll probably cover in one of the later videos, I feel. Probably not the next, but soon enough. Alright, so the first topic that we're going to be going over is our neutral buttons. So two buttons that I want to emphasize very deeply with Karin are standing light kick and standing medium kick. For standing light kick is ridiculously good. It has incredibly fast startup. It stuffs a lot of specials actually. And it's just a fantastic button just to create spacing for as it has a nice amount of pushback. And the same can be said about standing medium kick. The only difference is that it has more startup and it also has more recovery. In fact it's minus four on block. But it's not too much of an issue if you space it correctly. Like you don't want to do medium kick over here. This is a light kick situation. But what do you want to use your neutral buttons for? The big thing you want to know is that in like lower ranked matches, the big thing is going to be that people are still trying to understand their like special moves and like just how to play the game. And one thing that you can take advantage of in this um, lower like rank echelon is using spacing to your advantage. Because people will be using a lot of dashes, they're going to be using a lot of special moves, and a lot of them can actually be stuffed. So for example, let's have Kami over here. Just, let's just have her dash forward. And that should be, that should be simple enough. So, we're having Kami dash up. And the big thing about it is that you can stuff it. So you can just, as you can see, it's super easy stuffing characters that are dashing. Dashing, take dashing this way. Dashing is basically them being vulnerable because they want to get in. And if you're playing Kareen, she has some fantastic buttons to basically say, no, get out of here. Nope, you're not welcome. Stay away. And the intent of pressing these buttons is just to keep your optimal distance. So over here is a very good distance for Kareen because guess what? We can still Tenko confirm. Uh, this is a little bit more of a harder, like, confirm, but like, point be it, it's still a fantastic range for Karin to don't press forward. Uh, forward medium kick is overhead, so don't press that. <laughs> just did. So, dashing is one thing, but then you're asking, okay, well, what about, like, what else can I, like, use my neutral buttons for? So you want to have an idea on neutral buttons for what buttons you want to confirm. So let's reset Kami to just a standing dummy. So what you want to do is you want to get an idea of what buttons work for Karin, and do not worry because I will just tell you what buttons you can look for for confirms. The big buttons that you normally want to use whenever you're confirming with Karin are Crouching Medium Kick, Standing Medium Punch, Crouching Medium Punch, and Standing Heavy Punch. Crouching Light Punch. Those are the buttons that you will have a lot of success with. And um, we can go over them very briefly. So, so Crouching Light Punch can be used for confirms in Street Fighter V. And it's actually a very nice confirm. As you can see, like, look how much damage we got off of just a Crouching Light Punch. That's kind of absurd. We can use your Crouching Light Punch for things such as Jab, Jab, Tenko. It's pretty good. It's pretty alright. 
Um, I'm not too good at it myself. That's something that I actually need to practice on because it is a bit of a tighter confirm. And if you can't get it down, like, at a beginner level, it's completely okay. Uh, I like doing jab confirm uh, into tag, though, so just one is fine for me. I could do it off of one, but, like, doing it off of two gives you a little bit more time to buffer it, but for some reason I just can't do it myself. Um, Crouching Medium Kick is another amazing confirm that is a little bit more intermediate, but, like, if you can get Crouching Medium Kick down, it will be, like, one of her most invaluable tools, because look at this range. Like, that is some absurd range that she has. And look at that. Just, like, absurd range. Um, you don't have to do it immediately, so this is the button that I want people to start with, just to get an idea. If you can do Crouching Medium Kick into Tenko, that is amazing. Definitely work on that. That is something that you should at least know once you get into the Platinums or even in the Golds. Like, you should definitely know how to do Crouching Medium Kick into Tenko. Um, this is the one that I started with. This was the very first confirm that I started with, and it's not as good because the range is way more limited, but it's still a good button. Normally, my strategy is I do this, and I try to fish for a confirm through that, but medium punch is a good button, but crouching uh, medium kick, now that's... Now that's a button you definitely want to learn how to use. But for now, just medium punching it, hey man, it's all good. You can also do heavy punch. That's another one. This one also has good range, but the issue is that if you time it incorrectly, you can get crushed a lot easier because it is a heavy punch button, and therefore you have a lot more frames that you can get countered by. But you know what? It's still pretty good. You can still get some nice, nice range. And normally what you want to do is you want to use that as a button that you use against someone who is like overexerting and you just want to whiff punch them. It's a whiff punish button. Don't get too reliant on it in neutral when you are just fishing for a confirm because you can get crushed. Um, and last but not least, we have our standing light kick. And this one is our counter hit button. Um, another counter hit button is crouching jab because in counter hit situations, you get extra frames added to it. So whenever Okay, let's have Cammy just mash buttons on Wake Up. Uh, this is actually quite realistic to how it actually is on. Uh, sorry, bad jump. Okay, so we'll have our Wake Up action on. Um, it probably is a TP. So we're just gonna have her mashing jab. Because people do that. I do that sometimes. So that's her Wake Up action, so that's on. Okay, so we're just gonna knock her down. So, oh, whoops. So. Okay, so we're gonna go and turn on the wake up actions for Cami. So we're gonna. We're gonna just. Uh, let's just do crouching medium punch. That's not a button that people use, but like. Crouching jab is also. Okay, so let's go into our wake up actions, and we're just gonna do crouching jab. Or just jab. We're just gonna mash jab. That's. That's what people do sometimes online. I do it online. It'd be that way sometimes. So let's knock Cammy down. Let's just test to see. Okay. You see? She is mashing jab. And you see? Off a of counter hit combo, you can go into medium punch, and then you can go into your full combo. And that's pretty much it for the buttons that you want to be using in beginner neutral. Uh, we will go over intermediate neutral in due time. Um, first, we're just going to go over the beginner stuff. Um, just to give an idea, because this isn't a character introduction series, and we shouldn't go straight into advanced meta stuff, because that's that's difficult. We we want to we want to work a little bit upwards instead of just go immediately into the hard stuff. Um, so for that, we're going to be going right into combos. So what combos do you want to confirm into? And this one is actually really short. So this is pretty much it. This is pretty much it. Just Tenko confirm. Pick your pick your Oki. And now it's fantastic. She has multiple options. And I will be posting these notations in the video right here.
Kill Warrior. 